Hey, how you doing? It's uh, middle of the week, Wednesday, and I'm not feeling too bad this morning, actually, to tell you the truth. Feeling better than I felt for, um, well, a while. A couple of weeks, at least. Um, off down to Morrison's. I've got a post-COVID PCR test, so I'm going to put that in the post first, and then pop to Morrison's, get a few bits, come back. Um, I was going to make a uh, cheese and potato bread that I saw on YouTube. Um, I'm doing that a bit later. So, um, yeah, that'll be coming up shortly here on this video blog. Uh, check out my... Yeah, check out the links in uh, the description below on YouTube and there's two t-shirt designs that I've done and you can buy them from a store online so uh, check out the links below if you suffer with chronic pain and fibromyalgia then um, these t-shirts are for you and um, other items as well so check out the links below Uh, some cheese and potato bread now the bread mixture calls for 90 grams of flour bread flour that's what I've got in the bowl also into there is going to go some milk just to help it form its mixture also in there is some salt and I've added some pepper and uh, some of this Italian grated cheese just to um, take it up a notch so I'm gonna mix this together and form a bowl ball, ball I should say form a ball in the bowl so there we have our uh, ball of flour with milk salt pepper and uh, some of this uh, nice Italian grated cheese mixed in with it. That's got to go in the fridge for about half hour. In the meantime, I'm going to peel a potato, boil it, mash it, and I'll show you what else I'm going to do with it in a little while. This is going to get covered and put in the fridge. So here we go, I'm going to make up the potato mixture now. Uh, into here goes the potato that you mashed up. Some cheese. Now I'm using one of my favourite cheeses. Wyke's, uh, Wyke Farms Extra Mature and Delicious Cheddar. Now I do like Wyke Farms cheese. Absolutely gorgeous and they've been farming in Somerset since 1861 and their cheese is absolutely fantastic and if you want to find out more you can go to their website at whitefarms.com That's uh, White Farms Extra Mature and Delicious Cheddar. Okay. Also in to the potato goes the cheese. And it goes. Also into there, I'm going to put some parsley. Now this isn't on um, the recipe that I've seen online, but uh, I'm doing it for me so to my specifications so some parsley that'll do and also into there I'm going to add some chopped garlic because I like garlic so that goes in along with mayonnaise and the mayonnaise will help to combine everything so just Mix it all up, so there's that. Stir it all together, and you'll end up with something that looks just like that. 
and I can tell you it smells gorgeous with the mayonnaise added and the garlic and the parsley oh it smells delicious now the next thing you got to do is get the bready mixture out and uh, roll that out and put that into it and to put this uh, cheese and potato bread to um, together taking that out of the fridge I'm going to roll that out and then into that once it's rolled out goes the potato and you close it all up and in a pan I put some olive oil but I've also got some melted butter which is going to be used to put well, to aid with the cooking I'll show you what I mean so there we have it it's all rolled out I put the cheese and potato mixture into the middle of it folded the edges over and then I rolled squished it down a bit to make it a bit more fatter now what you do with some of the butter first of all is to lightly brush with the butter now in the frying pan I put some olive oil because um, I'm using olive oil to do the main part of the frying but using the butter on the bread itself actually will help to brown it as well as stick it all together which is a good thing so in the pan it is push it down a bit You want to do cook it for about about 15 10 to 15 minutes you have to keep turning it as well so you don't burn it so there you have it um, I actually <laughs> burnt the underside <coughs> but um, yeah don't let your attention not wander when you're cooking it because uh, you will burn it like what I did but that's what it looks like and as you can see it's sort of the bread decided to split a bit but you can see that the cheese is melted and will slice into it when it's cooled down sliced into it Let's see what it tastes like shall we slice again looks all right oops there you go the garlic there the cheese is there which I love the cheese the flavour of the cheese does it for me now you can eat this cold or eat it warm if you have it hot I would have it with um, some baked beans maybe some salad take care See you soon.